Wow, <laughs> incredible. Fantastic first set, gentlemen. Fantastic. Thank you so much. If you guys are just tuning in, welcome to our band show, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we're joined by a band from right here in our very own Hudson Valley called Cenote, who's absolutely ripping, rocking this show so hard. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, we're going to talk more about their sound in just a few minutes. But before we do that, I'd like to invite on my co-producer and the man behind the switchboard, Patrick W. Huber. How you doing, Pat? Oh, man. I am uh, blown away. Um, this is fantastic. It's, uh, you know, both the amazing skills on the guitar and, and the drums, uh, you guys are, are really doing it for me for sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, they are, uh, they have a chemistry, you know, um, and, uh, it, it shows that you guys have been playing together for such a long time. Thank you. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> so, yeah, Pat, um, how you doing back there? How are things going on in your neck of the woods tonight? Uh, I think everything is great. We have, uh, you know, our fantastic camera ops. I'll give them a, a little early shout out. But uh, I'm loving the uh, camera angles that they're getting specifically. Like we're getting right up there on the, uh, the guitar. And, um, yeah, this is a, a really good evening. I'm enjoying uh, what you guys are putting out. And, um, you know, typically I just jump in there and throw out a question to you. And uh, I'm just curious, like, since this is an instrumental uh, band and that's what the material that you've been crafting for um, your, your run as a band, uh, how do you create the themes of the music and, and really just convey to the audience, um, you know, the emotion behind your music? That is a good question with different answers. Um, <laughs> Your mic's away. Uh, yeah, or no answer. So the we didn't used to. Uh, the honest truth is, some of our older songs aren't about anything. Um, we especially like uh, a good chunk of the self-titled album is just like we. This sounded cool. Let's play it together. Yeah, a lot of the most of the stuff that we just played. Yeah, and then we'll ascribe meaning to it later. Um, we're working on now with the later releases and our upcoming releases working more within a theme and trying to to um to convey messages through music um you brought up chris the the ep we just put out that was sort of a a test bed it was like a, an, an exercise for us in a lot of things but part of it was writing like um what goes into writing a, a concept piece like where we have to convey something with the songs so like in a way it's it's easier to do as an instrumental, well, maybe not easier, but like the way we, I see it at least is as an instrumental band, we don't have to convey an exact story, like a specific story. Like there's no lyrics telling you what's happening. We're, we're focused more, or I'm focused more. Sorry to speak for you. That's okay. On, uh, on conveying a general feeling and then like the song title can sort of help guide you that way and you feel you know, whatever you want. And like, like I might have a, a specific story in mind when I'm writing it and I'll try and think like, what, what sounds like this? What would make me feel like this? And it's up to the listener to like, you know, hear what they hear. Yeah, that's really cool. And, you know, let me jump in because I think we spoke about it during our production meeting. I said that your album, uh, the newest EP outlines, um, I kind of felt like I was on like a hero's journey, you know, kind of like you're, you know, uh, the, the rises, the falls, but ultimately, ultimately you get to that heroic climax and there's a feeling of success and achievement um, towards the end of the record. I think the visual you paired with it also kind of cemented that feeling cool. I was having in my head while listening to the record. But, you know, it is true. I mean, uh, it, it's, it's definitely a little more open-ended, but I, I still kind of felt like I, I went on... A musical a journey you know a hero's journey a musical ride that's awesome that's yeah that's what we were going for um with that one the idea was um again i'm thinking in these generalized terms so we're like what if the concept was just it's the outline of a story so it's just like like story points a points a story would hit and then uh, without getting really specific into it and then trying to make music that fit that um and then congeal that into a 
concept EP, I guess. And again, like as a songwriting exercise for our next piece, we want to be a more singular work. We're trying to trying to expand on stuff we're learning as we go and uh, make art like the people we listen to. Like we listen to a lot of bands that put out like these concept albums. Like I'm a huge Between the Barry to Me fan and all their albums are like start to finish almost a singular piece of music. And that's something I really aspire to. Yeah, Colors is like a life-changing Absolutely. metal record. Yeah, man. Um, I really enjoyed that one that yeah. they put out in the um, early 2010s that had a lot of piano and singing on it. The name escapes me right now. Ooh, but, Coma uh, Ecliptic? Yeah. 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 Also very cool. No, I totally get that vibe from you guys. It was also um, just an experiment in terms of how we write songs. Um because, you know, we are just two people. Most of the songs, if you, if you listen to them, or all of them, I guess, have, uh, there's a lot of layering involved. Um, you know, Will would write a piece and then layer something over it and layer something over it and layer something over it until it really uh, filled out quite a bit. Because um, if you listen to those, there's a lot of tracks overlaid. And then he, they're all just based on, like, you know, simple looped themes and we would loop this thing and see what else we could build onto it and then he uh did this entirely independent and then sent them to me and he was like hey what do you think about this um i want to try this thing where we just you know record one of these in a day just whatever you think goes over it um that's what we we'll record so that was a really interesting experience because it was like i don't know how many songs are there five yeah, so it was like just five weeks in a row. I would go to his house on, on Sunday, and we would just get in the basement. And um, I mean, I didn't tell Will this yet, but I listened to those songs maybe twice, three times before we actually sat down to record them. He had sent me the tracks, but I, I think I... Months ahead of time. Yeah, months ahead of time. And I think I only listened to them like, you know two or three times. and uh, When was this you recorded them again? We finished up a few months ago, probably. No, it wasn't a few months ago, was it? Feels like, I don't know, last month or something? Nah. Really? It feels yeah. so much more polished listening to you guys play them today. This is very intricate music, and I, you haven't missed a beat. Oh, thank so you. So that's pretty crazy to hear. We have, but we're pretty good at covering <laughs> it up at this point. Yeah, we just sat down and, and we recorded, at least we recorded drums for all those songs in, in one take. Well, I would, I would sit down and I would Several takes, to but it. a continuous take. Yeah, I would listen to it through the headphones and we'd give it a rip and I'd stop halfway through and I'm like, no, that's not it. Or, you know, just listening to it several times over to try to figure out what I'm going to do. And we would do that, you know, 25, 30 times in a row until I could get all the way through it with something that we both were like, yeah, we like that, and then call it a day. And mm-hmm. that's... Uh, I tried to explain that you can edit audio and you don't need to play it all in one shot, but... But if you can, you're up there with the great ones. It was, an, it was a really interesting uh, experiment, though, for both of us, I think. It was, it was kind of fun. It was infuriating towards the end, <laughs> but it was kind of fun to try and write and record something like that. Yeah. Every part of that EP was an experiment in something to try and see if we could make a bigger album next. And it's all about growth, you know. Um, speaking of that, uh, Pat has some questions kind of yeah. in a similar topic about growth and future plans and whatnot. So I'll, t- I'll toss it back over to Pat. Oh, I, I very well do appreciate that. Um, hey, listen, uh, you guys obviously are putting together your album and uh, tightening up that sound. And I know you've kind of hinted at the future direction of the band. But, you know, one of the things I think we talked about as we were setting up today is like, are lyrics coming? Are you going to start developing, uh, you know, and singing with your songs? Is that going to be like a special project, its own kind of album? Uh, and then what else is for the future? You know, it, it's I think you talked about trying to get into some basement gigs and start performing in front of uh, crowds, not just the uh, digital audience that we have here. Yeah. All right. I'll take. Oh, uh, man, that was a lot of questions that felt like. Uh Lyrics. We've experimented with lyrics in the past. There is a version of one of the songs we just played with lyrics. It exists. It's not for public consumption. Um, we're not opposed to lyrics. Uh, I hadn't broached the subject, but now live on stream, I guess, is 
good time as any. I was considering doing some vocals for some of the new songs when we record. I can't do it while we play, so I don't know. We hadn't discussed how it would work yet. But yeah, no, we're not opposed to vocals. It just yeah hasn't been part of our sound. We're not really uh, for us. I think playing uh, playing more shows um, is first and foremost. Absolutely. And second would be getting a bassist. We definitely need a bassist more than we need a vocalist for um, sure. I don't know. We, we, we kind of agreed, like, we want to keep this project uh, mostly instrumental. Yeah. Maybe there are going to be a few songs here and there that need vocals on them, but we're not, not enough to merit, like, recruiting a vocalist to permanently join the band or anything like that. Um, so we're, I don't think that's really uh, too high up on our, on our list of priorities. Um, Really just getting out there and, and playing more shows and meeting more bands, I'd say, is, is probably yep. number one for us. We do have a show coming up in Nyack on April 27th. You can find the info on our Instagram. So 27th or 28th. And what's the handle? Uh, we are, well, we're probably Cenote Band. We're pro- probably? What do you mean probably? <laughs> I'm like 80% <laughs> sure we're at Cenote Band. Okay. We'll definitely link it in the description That's so good. there won't be any discrepancy. If you guys want to follow and support the guys... Hit the link in the description after this has been posted for a little while. We'll go in there and toss that down for you so you can keep up with them. And uh, go check out that show, maybe. Head on down to Nyack. Um, Go see some great live music. After you watch it here, go see it in person. Uh, With that said, guys, thank you for everyone who's hanging out with us tonight. Just enjoying these great tunes. We appreciate the R Band Show audience more than you could know. And, you know, one last time, we just want to ask you to like, subscribe, comment, and, and share this with a friend. It'll help us and the band do it do what they're talking about get our names out there and just you know meet more people and just keep on jamming so speaking of keeping on the jams i would really like to hear some more music guys are you up for it all right yeah fantastic roll let's uh yeah let's roll into our next set with uh our first song here to start off the second set arms race <laughs> 